Hi guys, welcome back. This is a long overdue video. I've been trying to make this video for the longest time. Believe it or not, I said if we ever reach a thousand subscribers, I was gonna do this one-on-one -on -one, uh, where I just kind of tell you a little about myself and the channel and all the games that I've been playing, etc. instead of just like uploading a bunch and just you don't even know who I am and anything if you're not in the streams. Another part of it also was it is a little nerve-wracking just sitting here and feeling like I have to talk to the camera versus when you're live streaming is a little bit different because there's actually people that are talking to you in chat. Uh, so it was a little bit of a hassle trying to bring myself here and film this. But this week where I'm actually taking a um, week off from streaming, so I figured, it's, you know what, a perfect time to just sit down and just talk to you guys. So yeah, if you're here, whether you're new or from the Twitch community or anyone, anywhere else you found this video or this channel, I uh, just wanted to say welcome in. Um, my name is Fuji. Uh, today I kind of collected a bunch of very common questions I get asked all the time. And some questions actually, I sent out a form in the Discord a while ago for people to ask questions for me to do this introduction video. but. It's been a long time. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy your stay here. Anyways, let's get into it. First of all, again, my name is Fuji. Um, this channel, it's pronounced. I know it's a common thing you're probably thinking if you're new. The username is pronounced Fuzz Puzzy. First half of it is actually part of my full name, which starts also with F U Z H. And the rest of it, it's not anything like what you're thinking. It was literally just made innocently back in high school when my friends and I just made my Instagram account for the very first time and it just kind of rhymed at the moment. It just was like fuzzy puzzy, fuzz puzzy, kind of like that. Nothing like what you're thinking because I know it's very misunderstood and people think of like different things. Anyways, we're gonna keep it appropriate. I used to do some content creating with doing some uh, vlogging, doing some travel content, and a lot of skating content. So if you ever checked out the TikTok, um, that's just mainly all skating. That was a big part of my life growing up. Um, I did competitive figure skating for a while, and then I was coaching for six years. Kind of incorporated that all within my Instagram as well. And then gaming came back into my life after quite some time actually. So I used to play on PlayStation for most of my life. Like even growing up I had, I went from PS1 to PS2 to PS3. I was a PlayStation gamer. We never really had kind of like a PC set up at my house. We just kind of had like a family PC where like every single one of my family members just used it for... Uh, just simple things. Uh, so the most I've played on PC growing up was Sims. That was kind of the only game we got on Sims was on the computer my parents let me get was Sims. But the rest of that was just basically just on the PlayStation. So I don't even know, like Ratchet and Clank, Prince of Persia. I used to play a lot of FIFA. That's that. And then years went by. So I basically didn't play a lot of games when I was in university because I was just I was so busy I was skating like six days a week I was studying um, I studied engineering when I was in school so it was just a lot it slowly started crawling back when I was in my last year which was actually COVID so basically things shut down the rinks all closed down all my classes were online which honestly it sucked because I was hoping I'd have a in-person graduation I get to go to my last final class and just celebrate with everyone, but that didn't happen. But what did happen is I got introduced to Twitch, which then was this like huge thing for me because I was like, oh my god, there are like people that play games, there are people who chat, and it just felt like so intriguing because I was like, COVID was just kind of like lonely in a way because like I was hoping to be around people and I'm kind of a, I used to be an introvert, but I'm actually more of an extrovert now. So it kind of was like, I want to create the social group, which w ended up happening. I just started the Twitch channel and it all started with League of Legends. I'm not kidding you, for two months straight, it was just League. It was a very slow start. Feeling that like live presence with like just streaming and feeling like I can talk to someone and like being able to talk to real people in real time was just, was just kind of like wholesome. 
So anyways, here we are. Um, I did start the YouTube channel as well. Originally, I saw myself actually only just doing YouTube when I first started. YouTube, there's something about it that I like. Um, I tried playing some games just for YouTube and just recording myself. And there's another level of peace to that. And I don't know how to explain. It is a little lonely, but at the same time, it is peaceful where you could just sit down and play the game as well. Anyways, let's get into the questions. There's some questions that have been common. There have been some questions that uh, the Twitch community kind of sent forward for me to answer. Some of them are kind of silly, so I skipped some of them. It's a way for you to get to know me. And again, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments just so if we ever do this kind of video again, hopefully soon next time, um, we can answer those as well. How do you pronounce your username? Well, I kind of, I feel like I already said this already, but Fuzz Puzzy, we went kind of over. Most people call me Fuzz or Fuji, or unless people are mad, then they just say Fuji. The next question, how old are you? Hmm. <laughs> I get asked this question so much. I feel like, I feel like a lot of people get asked this question, but I don't know what it is. So I'm 26. Well, oh, well, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no. Actually, well, yes, 26, but I'm turning 27 in exactly a week. Next week, August 25th, is my birthday. I did not realize. Yeah. I guess, yeah, I'm almost 27. If you could only eat food from one cuisine for the rest of your life, what cuisine would it be? Ah, oh, this is tough. I would say I really like bowls. I know it sounds weird. It sounds really weird. So anything that has, I like rice and like lettuce bowls, like anything that has like everything, like beans and corns and, and I'm not vegetarian. I'm not vegetarian at all. I just, I just really like, like a bowl. <laughs> Every time I say this, it sounds so weird, but what would that fit into cuisine wise? I mean, I know there are some Korean dishes that have that. It's really tough. I've been really into Korean food recently, though. So I don't think I can choose one. Anything that has bowls. So, I mean, I guess American cuisine, because a lot of it is just like salad bowl, rice bowl, stuff like that. Or maybe there is some Chinese cuisine in that, too. Like a, like a chicken teriyaki or something. I do like that a lot. Anyways, if you could have superpowers, what would it be? Superpowers. Flying. I, if I could have any superpower in the whole entire world, I would love to fly. I don't like being stuck in traffic. I don't mind driving though, but I also, transportation, yo, I'm talking like flight-wise. I love traveling. There's so many places I yet to see. I would love to fly. If I could fly from continent to continent, cities or countries or whatever, sign me up. What is your background? Who? Background. Okay, so hmm, there is a lot of different ones that I get. A lot of people think I have some kind of Spanish background, um, some European, something like that. And my background's Persian. So, hmm. What is your favorite number? Oh, I love this one. My favorite number, I always took this as a sign. So whenever I saw the number, I just I could feel like something good was gonna happen. My favorite number is seven. And interestingly enough, we just hit 7K followers on Twitch. I'm so excited. It's been good two years of streaming. It, I'm, I'm very happy with the community and everything that we formed. So it's exciting. I'm really grateful for it. Honestly, I'm very, very grateful for everyone who's in the community. Even some people from the community are here on over on YouTube, or maybe some people from YouTube even joined onto the Discord. We all hang out on Discord. Um, so yeah, my favorite number is seven. I think seven is a great number. It's just, yeah. If you could live in one fictional universe for the rest of your life, what fictional universe would you want to live in? Oh, I know this one. Of course, I can't believe someone even asked that question. Of course it's Harry Potter. I loved all the movies, I watched all the movies two, three times at least, from the first one to the last one. And I played the games. I played all the games from back when I was on PS2, I think it was PS3 as well, I can't remember. 
But I just, I love, I love the whole Hogwarts world. Um, I did play Hogwarts Legacy. Honestly, I think that's one of my favorite games. It was so well done, despite all the controversy around that game. It was freaking fantastic. It just, it was great. It had everything and definitely a 10 out of 10 in my books. Maybe I'm a little biased because I love the Harry Potter world so much, but it, it was just great. If I could go to a wizard school, y'all, I'll be the happiest person on the whole world. Uh, also, thank you for our friend Kai for gifting this wand. It's the Hermione wand uh, for when we did do the cosplay for when we play Hogsworth Legacy. Um, I did not lose it. What is your favorite game? of all time. Ah, we just kind of answered that. Probably Hogsworth, but Hogsworth is very new. That just came out just like a few months ago. But apart from that, if I were to look back, if it's not League of Legends, I think League of Legends will be my all-time favorite. I don't play it as much anymore because it became so addicting. But I think the first thing that comes to my mind, other than Hogsworth Legacy, is either Red Dead Redemption 2 or The Witcher 3. There is just something about those two worlds I just I just loved. Like apart from the whole wizardry like like landscape and just school and the environment, I think I just loved the Witcher world so much from the games Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and Red Dead Redemption. Like the I just I like when there are horses in the game and I was just it was such a good time. Honestly, it was Red Dead Redemption was one of the first few games that got me in tears. That game is excellent. Like, literally excellent. I, I've i been wanting to play that again. I will one day again, I just don't know when. But that game is great. It has a good place in my heart. So does The Witcher. The Witcher, I think I explored a little less than Red Dead Redemption, but it was still, it was still great. And before you ask, I'm a Yennefer fan. I love Yennefer. Can you say the alphabet backwards? Can I say the alphabet backwards? Oh gosh. Um This is going to go really bad. Z Y X U R S T O Q P Wait. No, I missed <laughs> <laughs> I think I messed up. I know it goes N M L H J D F E no E F D C B A. <laughs> Why are you asking me this question? I don't know. I think I made a lot of mistakes. Don't judge. I I'm still the type of person that has to sing the alphabet to even say it correctly. I can't even I can't even like say it without singing it. I still go by the song. Please don't judge. All right, two more questions. What is your all-time favorite movie? Well, I get asked this question a lot as well. So much, so, so much. Ah, uh, Spy Kids. Spy Kids, definitely my all-time childhood and adulthood favorite movie. And we actually recently watched all the Spy Kids in a Discord movie night. So if anyone here wants to watch future Discord movies with us, you can check out the links below. We we do hang out on Discord quite often, but anyways, I love Spy Kids, and it's actually, believe it or not, I was a tomboy for close to two years. Yeah, for close to two years because of Spy Kids. If I don't know how to explain, but I was just... There was two years of my life where I was just like buying boy clothes, I cut my hair, it was like kind of short but not so short. I was skateboarding, I had like this cool watch, it was like my gadget, it was like I wanted to think it showed me like where to go and it had like a little hologram on it. What is your favorite inspirational quote you live by? Inspirational quote. Okay, yeah. I almost forgot because I, I haven't thought about this in a while, but the one thing for the longest time I used to live by was whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. Basically what it means is whatever you think is what you're capable of. So if you think you can do it, you definitely can. It's just a matter of what you tell yourself 
So I think that played a, a big role when I was figure skating. Figure skating is so mentally tough, well, and physically, but mentally specifically. So if you don't have that mindset of get up after each fall, then it just becomes very, very draining. So that was a quote I think my coach told me when I was younger um, that stuck by me, or I may have just read it somewhere too, but that always resonated with me. Lastly, I want to talk to you guys about some future games we'll be playing in the next few months that you should expect to see on the channel, and some previous games that we played recently. So I took a little bit of break from some new games this past month. We played all of the Walking Dead series, which was great. It was so, so great. I did not film those for YouTube because those kind of games are more interactive, so I wanted to talk a little bit more, and usually when I film YouTube videos I and I'm streaming it, I try to be a little bit more mindful of talking to Chad and also kind of having a chill playthrough at the same time, so it becomes kind of hard to juggle. And moving forward, the next big game on the list is Starfield. Um, so that's coming out for the Early Access, I think, August 31st, so definitely expect to see a bit of that. If it's not the full playthrough here on YouTube, there'll definitely be some little bits and bits here and there. Honestly, one thing I wanted to say is with big games and uh, uploading onto YouTube is very tough because a lot of the open world games, it's you do so many side quests, there's just so much happening that requires a lot of editing and... I'm not super, super good with that quite yet. And if you ever do see stuff coming from Twitch, um, please respect that I'm trying my best. I'm really, really trying my best to making sure it is mindful and the audio is still good and people can still enjoy it even if they weren't there on the Twitch channel. Um, I do turn off the alerts most of the time. So After Starfield, we're going to also be playing, we're going to check out Lies of P. Um, I played the demo for that. I think I uploaded the demo on YouTube as well. About that, the demo was very tough. The gameplay itself was not like bad. It was just like the controls. It was just the controls was really, really tough. Like for example, you would press dodge and it would happen like half a second later, which feels like it was like a long time, like when you're actually in an intense fight. Anyways, I'm excited for Lies of P. I've, that is probably the one game I'm excited for the most, or was, other than Mirage Assassin Creed. So after that, I do want to check out Assassin Creed, which is now, I just learned, yes. It's going to be released on October 5th, which is a lot earlier, like a week earlier or something, than when it was originally supposed to, so it doesn't clash onto some of the other games, because October is going to be a huge month. Spider-Man 2... And a week after that, there's Alan Wake. Alan Wake 2. That game, I played the first one a couple months ago. I loved it. So it's great they're having a release for Halloween weekend. So it's good. I want to play some horror games. I'm not a huge horror game person, but I liked Alan Wake. Um, but yeah, those are some of the big games coming up. Um, I'm very excited to play them. I will try my best to have those uploaded in time. I know I still didn't get a chance to fully upload the Final Fantasy 16 games on here. I think I'm like halfway through with uploading all the parts. Um, they are coming from the Twitch VODs. Um, so I'm kind of editing some stuff because I know it can be interruptive again. So hopefully we'll have those up before some of these big games come out. Anyways, I hope you learned quite a bit about me from some of these questions. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for anyone who recently joined, anyone from the community already watching this. Um, I hope this was a good insight to me and the channel and who I am. Please like and subscribe and what else do you do on YouTube? Please like, subscribe, and comment if you like this video. And if you just want to join our community, you can join on Discord. I do post weekly game schedules that I'd be playing on the channel that coming week. So every Monday I send out a schedule on what the streams are going to be. And usually 12, 24 hours later I try to upload the parts. Sometimes I lack. But I try my best, okay? I try my best. I hope you have a good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time zone you're watching this. Um, and I shall see you next time. Bye!